In this video we're going to take a look at an event parsing tool within Backtrack 5. To begin with I'll show you where it's located here. It's on Backtrack, the Forensics, the Forensics Analysis Tools, and here it is. It's EVT Parse. Uh, it's a Perl script that we've got written here to basically run um, or what we're going to do is extract information out of the event viewer within a Windows system. And so I've got Backtrack loaded here. What I need to do before I begin is actually mount the hard drive. And so I'll do that real quick. I'm just going to run an FDisk the dash L, look at the different drives that I have and this one here is my Windows hard drive, this SDB1 uh, in the devices uh, directory. So what I'm going to do is just mount that real quick. Uh, before I do that I'll just create the directory that I want this to be. So I'm just going to create this on the desktop and so I use the tilde for the home folder for the root and then the desktop to be on the desktop here. And the folder I'm going to use is just going to be called uh, WinHDD that's the folder I'll have created and you'll see the folder just got created on my desktop now I'll use that as my mounting uh, location so I'm just going to type in mount and we're going to go ahead and mount this uh, device dev forward slash sdb1 and then what we're going to do is the location so I'm just going to go ahead and do the location I use the tilde again and the desktop and this time I'm going to use the win HDD folder for the location. I'll hit enter and it's gone ahead and created this uh, hard drive or mounted the hard drive here. If I double click inside the Win HDD, you'll see that I've got my Windows files from that Windows uh, folder. And this is a Windows XP machine uh, or hard drive from Windows XP computer. So now what we need to do is we need to take a look at how to use this tool. And to begin with, I'm going to need to know the location of the event viewer files or the EVT files. So I'm going to go ahead and just double click on the Win HDD. All right, now I'm going to go in the Windows folder and then we're going to look for the System32 folder. And let's see, that should be maybe down here. There it is, System32. And then we're going to look for the config folder in the System32. So we'll go ahead and open up the config folder. There it is. And what we're going to do is we're going to look for these different event or EV, EVT files. I've got an app event, I've got the security event, we've got a system event as well. So I've got a couple different files here and we're going to open up uh, one or two of these just to take a quick look at how this whole program works. So I'm going to go ahead and I'll just minimize this. Let's go ahead and use this program now. Now what I'm going to need to do, I'm going to go ahead and maximize this. So I'm going to actually need to type in the file path for this particular program. So I'm going to go ahead and type in the forward slash, the pen test, the forensics, the evt, parse.pl, and then this is where it's going to actually be located. So I'm going to go ahead and type in evt, parse.pl, and then we're going to go ahead and type in now the command that we want to use. And if I scroll up, you can see that I've got e for a file or d for a directory. I'm going to use the e for a file. So I'm going to use the dash e and I need to type in the location of this and so I'm going to go ahead and uh, I'll just do the forward slash root desktop and it's going to be in the folder called winhdd I need to go to the windows folder and then I need to go to the system32 then I need to go to the config and then within the fig configure where our files are so the first one I'm going to pull up is the app event uh, .evt. And then what we're going to need to do is after we're done with this, I'm going to just go ahead and use the redirector here. And I'm going to go ahead and use, the, so it's the greater than symbol. And we're going to go ahead and just create a text file here on the desktop. So I'll just type in the tilde. And I'm just going to call this one app event .txt. I'm going to go ahead and hit enter. And now I'm going to go ahead and minimize this so we can see what we've got. There it is. It, what it's done is it's gone ahead and extracted the information out of that EVT file. And now I've got it here in my text file. So I can go ahead and scroll down. And I can see basically the events that's happened recently. And you can see here some recent ones. Uh, these, these are the most recent here at the bottom. So that's using one of them. Let's go ahead and do another one real quick. So I'll pull back up the terminal. I'll just go ahead and hit the up arrow and we're going to go ahead and change this instead of app event let's just call that one sys event there we go and 
and then instead of app event for the EVT file, I'll just change that to SYS. I'll hit enter. And now if I go back to my desktop, I can see also for the system event, let's see, I'll open this up. And again, I've got the timestamps and I've got all the information extracted from that EVT file from the Windows hard drive. This concludes the video on the EVT parse.